Hi, this is Samaya. In this session, we can discuss about the topic in aptitude as percentage formula based problems. Okay, the first one is x percent of fraction. Okay, this is the first formula in percentage. In last session, we already saw about the fractions into percentage. Okay, multiply factors. At the same time, we saw related the problems based on fact factors and fractions into percentage. In this session, we can discuss about the formula of percentage and problems. Okay, x percent of fraction. That means x percent is equal to x divided by hundred. Percentage that means x divided by hundred percent. For example, twenty percent that means twenty divided by hundred. Let's cancel this value. One by five. This is the fraction value. Okay. This is x percent each. So one by five is the answer. A by B as a percent. That means A by B into hundred. So A and B. They given two values. That is A and B. That means A B A by B as a percent. So A by B into hundred percent. This is the formula. For example, so one by four. Here A is one. B is four. A is one. B is four. Okay. One by four percent is that means one by four into hundred. Percent. So we solve this. Let's simplify this value. So four twenty five is a hundred. So twenty five percent. Okay. This is the answer. The third formula is if the price of commodity increases. So commodity increases by or percentage. Then the reduction in Consumption is not to increase the expenditure as. So given data is commodity increases, but consumption decreases. So commodity increases by all percent. Consumption is decreases. Okay. Therefore, formula is R divided by hundred plus R. So R is the R percent. So given value, given percentage value, okay. R divided by hundred plus R into hundred percent. This is the first formula for commodity increases at the same time consumption decreases. That means R divided by hundred plus R into hundred. So increases so commodity increases, which is the first thing in this formula. So hundred plus R. Okay. The next formula is if the price of here commodity decreases, consumption increases. The previous one commodity increases, consumption decreases. Here commodity decreases at the same time consumption increases. Okay. Is not to decreases the expenditure as. So commodity decreases means hundred minus R percent. This is the major. This is place the major row. Okay. So formula is R divided by hundred minus R into hundred percent. So this is the formula for this condition. So this condition denotes so commodity increases, consumption decreases. Okay. That means commodity increases. Consumption decreases. So hundred plus R plus. Okay, this is the proof here. Commodity decreases. Consumption increases. Therefore, hundred minus R percent. Okay. So we get up a is value in denominator. Okay. So denominator only changes the these two conditions. 
the next the, the next one is the fourth formula let's see that fourth one is results of population this is denoted as p okay let the population of a town be p it is denoted as p population is denoted as p and it increases at the rate of r percent so given percentage value is denoted as r percent per annum then these are the two conditions so whereas n is years okay so population of the n years so population of the n years that means population of 1 plus rate divided by 100 whole power n yeah, this is the formula for of the n years okay the second one is population n years ago here is ago this is the of the so ago means p divided by 1 plus r divided by 100 whole power n so this value is getting to the denominator okay this is ago and after this is the population formula fifth one is the depreciation formula so maybe it depreciates so maybe it depends on something related to this formula results of depreciation so let the present value of a machine be p so this is also denoted as p it depreciates that means depreciates the value is reduced okay the rate of r percent per annum then the first condition is value of a machine after n years so here after n years that means it is depreciates the same formula, this is the addition value here, the subtraction, okay. Subtract, subtraction of 1 minus r divided by 100, here the addition of 1 plus rate divided by 100, okay. Here, so machine B, P, okay. The machine of 1 minus rate divided by 100, that is, whole power N. So P of 1 minus r divided by 100, the whole power N, this is the after N years ago, after N years the next one is the value of machine year years ago. Ago means this value get into the denominator. So that means P divided by 1 minus R divided by 100 the whole power. And we go for the next formula. So sixth one is. The sixth formula is. If A is R percent more than B. Then B less than A. That means A is greater than B. A is more than B. That means R divided by 100 plus R in the 100%. Okay, this is the formula for when A is more than B. Okay, the second condition is if A is R percent less than B. That means A less than B. Then B is greater than A. Okay, here. A less than B, that means A is greater than B means 100 plus R. Here A is, A, A is less than B, that means 100 minus R. So R divided by 100 minus R into 100 percentage. Okay, this is the, these are the formulas in percentage. Okay, can solve the first problem in this percentage value. The ratio 5 is to 4, express it as a percent equals to so these are the options. So A is 12.5 percent, B is 40 percent, C is 80 percent, D is 125 percent. Okay. This is related to the second formula that is A by B percentage. Okay. That means A by B percentage. That means A by B percentage is equal to A divided by B into 100 percent. Okay. Here A is the solution. The given ratio is 5 is 4. That means A is 5, B is 4. Okay. So A by B percent. A by B percent. That means 5 by 4 percent is equal to 5 by 4 into 100. 
okay what's that is equal to so simplify this value 425 plus 500 so 525 plus 125 percent answer is 125 percent so d is the answer we go for the second problem the second one is second problem is Half of 1% written as a decimal is, is already given for options. A is 0.0005, B is 0.05, C is 0.02, D is 0.2. First one is 0.005, okay. okay. The solution is, the given is half percent, half of 1%, okay. Half of 1%. That means 1 by 2 into 100 percentage. Okay. So half means 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 divided by 100 into percentage equal to here 0 0.5. That means 1 by 10. So, so, 5 divided by 100 into 10. Therefore, 5 divided by 1000. That means 0 0.005. This is the answer. So, half of 1% written as a decimal is 0.005. So, A is the answer. Okay. The second, the third problem is what is 50 percent marriage of rupees 34? Okay, this is a given option. A is rupees 3.4, 3.4, B is rupees 3.75, C is rupees 4.5, D is rupees 5.1. Okay, so solution. So what is 50 percent age of 34 rupees? So 50 percent age of 34 rupees means 50 divided by 100 into 34 percent. Okay. Yes. Simplify this value, we can get the amount. So 3 fives are 50, 20 fives are 100. So again simplify this value by 2. Here 10 to are 20, 70 into are 34. Okay. So 3 17s are 51. 3 17s are 51 divided by 10 is equal to 5.14 rupees 5.10. So D is the answer. Fourth problem, 63 percentage of, this is the mixed fraction value, 3, 4 by 7 is A. 2.25, B is 2.40, C is 2.50 and A is 2.75. These are the given options. So, let's solve the given problem. 63 percentage of 3 into 4 by 7. So, which is fraction we can convert into fraction value. So, 3 is 21. 21 plus 4 is 25. So, 25 by 7. This is the missing fraction value of 3 into 4 by 7. So, 25 by 7 is equal to. We can solve this value. 7 ions are 63. Okay. 4 25s are 100. Okay. So 9 by 4. Okay, we can simplify this value. We can get the answer. Okay. So 2 4s are 8. So remainder is 1. So 10. 2 fours are 8, remainder is 2, and 0, so 5 fours are 20. So answer 
means two by two by. So sixty three percentage of three four by seven is two point two five. Two point two five. So sixty three percentage of three four by seven. Option A is the right answer. The next one is.